the ceremony is about to begin. Once again, thank you for your patience. Spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Victor Stevens, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver... Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Lord God, we are thankful for days like this. That we might come into a place like this and remember the achievements of this hallowed ground. And into a lifetime. And so, Lord, I pray you would allow a sense of pride to fill all of these that are in the stands, that they might know that their support and encouragement have carried, and they go to serve their country. May they do so with honor, courage, and commitment, whether that be in far off lands or in familiar places. Lord, may we all leave this place knowing that you go with us, that you are truly Semper Fidelis, always faithful. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. The Dr. Commanding General, Marine Corps Group Depot, San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historical event in the life of a Marine. Their graduation from boot camp. Approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, new Marines have departed San Diego First Service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide in the Marine Corps each year. The Depot is also home to Recruiter School and drill instructor school. All of our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing a mid training regiment will form and march in the parade. Following the pass and review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. This comprised of Marines from the recruit training regiment. The commander troops is Captain Michael Seibert, and the parade adjutant is Captain Alec Reddy. Marching units are now being called to attention, and the adjutant's command, sound adjutant's call, will begin today's parade. graduating Marines from Company C. Among the 256 Marines are two Marines who displayed outstanding performance in events. 
Private first class, Alberto Vieira from Platoon, 1051, as the company high shooter, scoring a 350. Most physically fit Marine, scoring a 291 out of 300 on the physical fitness test, and a 300 out of 300 on the combat fitness test. They will be receiving awards from the Marine Corps Association and also present today as the primary marksmanship. Marines who function effectively in garrison Marines. Examples of these traits are discipline, the achievement of self-control and self-awareness which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing. Consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. Esprit de corps, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others towards excellence in common goals. For 248 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls. In the harshest conditions, over the most... ...most formidable enemies, Marines defend the ideals of freedom with... Although battlefields change with steeled resolve, the drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on again, it takes that steadfast faithfulness, semper fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our story legacy. Marines today are confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be the most ready when the nation is least ready to defend freedom anytime and anywhere, to stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters, to pay tribute to the ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company C, today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. Riflemen. In addition, due to an intent since their arrival aboard the recruit depot.
platoons are now being aligned from left to right in The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hand over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Render a salute to change command. The parade adjutant now presents the assembled command to the commander of troops.
Center march. All unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leader. history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to poor and country. Thank you. Please be seated. 
Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, the battalion the commander for 1st Recruit Training Battalion, 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 Lieutenant Colonel, Colonel Roger A. Hollenbeck. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commanding General, Brigadier General Ryans, and the Regimental Commander, Colonel Rumler, welcome to Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the graduation ceremony for Charlie Company. I'd like to extend a special welcome to today's parade reviewing official, whose impressive bio you'll hear in a moment, currently serving as the Executive Director of Chaplaincy at the Southern Baptist Convention, Major General Carver, retired. Welcome, sir. Today's ceremony recognizes your new Marine and all they've accomplished in the last 13 weeks. Gathering here as individuals from all walks of life and all corners of the globe, they stepped onto the legendary yellow footprints and into uncertainty. They dug deep, they trained hard, they came together and stand before you as a confident team of Marines, the best this nation has to offer. Now, this transformation that you're seeing today certainly did on its own. So I'd like to thank those that made it possible. The founding of their in your schools and in your communities. So thank you to the parents, teachers, families, friends, and coaches, your love, your support, and for many, your signature on the contract set conditions vital to their success. So thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause. To our outstanding drill instructors who spent literally every moment teaching, training, mentoring, and leading these Marines, their dedication and commitment will always remember and appreciate their efforts. Now the drill instructors and officers of Charlie Company are able to commit themselves to the business of making Marines because of the love and support of their families who also join us in the audience today. So if you would, please join me in a round of applause for the drill instructors and families of Charlie Company. I'd also like to recognize the martial arts, marksmanship, water survival, and academics instructors, our outstanding chaplain, Corman, and the entire medical team who've done a tremendous job keeping us physically, mentally, and of course, the dedicated recruiter that saw potential in your Marine. In fact, joining us from Weapons Field Training Battalion is Corporal Acevis Hernandez, responsible for training the platoon with the highest rifle qualification score. And joining us from recruiting substation Rapid City, Iowa, is Sergeant Pinheiro, responsible for recruiting today's honor graduate. Outstanding work, Marines. Please excuse me while I address the new Marines for one last time as their battalion commander. Good morning, Marines. Man, I'll tell you, that gets me every time. Well, you made it to graduation. You earned the Eagle Globe and Anchor, and you earned the look of pride on your loved one's face. and we will continue to build the next wave of warriors. The Marine Corps will be what you make it. So never forget the skills, the spirit, and the values that into you. And I get You represent the Marine Corps now, and you are the future of this great institution. You are my replacement, and the so stand tall, take charge, and when you get home, I want you to introduce all your friends to serve this great nation of ours. Take care of each other and cultivate the relationships you've made with your fellow Marine. They will serve you well. Welcome to the Corps, Semper Fidelis.
Now taking their position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Major General Douglas L. Carver, Southern Baptist endorsing agent. You know He is accompanied by Brigadier General James A. Ryans II, Commanding General, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, and the Western Recruiting Region. Ladies and gentlemen, please... Major General of the University of Tennessee Knoxville campus in 1973. Upon graduation, he was recognized as a distinguished military graduate and appointed as a regular Army officer in the field artillery branch of the United States Army. After serving on active duty for six years, he resigned his commission to enter the ministry. He was subsequently commissioned as a United States Army chaplain in June of 1984 and returned to active duty. He has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include Deputy Command Chaplain, United States Army, Europe, Heidelberg, Germany, Director of Training, United States Army Chaplain Center and School, Fort Jackson, South Carolina, United States Army 22nd Chief of Chaplains, United States Army, Pentagon, Washington, D.C. Major General Carver retired in 2011 after over 30 years of faithful and honorable service. Major General Carver's military awards and decorations include the Army Distinguished Service Medal, the Legion of Merit with one oak leaf cluster, the Bronze Star, the Joint Service Combination Medal, the Meritorious Service Medal with four oak leaf clusters, the Army Combination Medal with two oak leaf clusters, the Army Achievement Medal, the National Defense Service Medal with two Bronze star Service Stars, the Iraqi Campaign Medal, the Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal, the Army Service Ribbon, the Overseas Service Ribbon with numeral three, the Army Staff and Identification Medal, the Air Assault Badge, the Parachutist Badge, and the Ranger. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Major General Douglas. and review is a tradition within all military units, allowing the unit commander to formally inspect the unit under their charge. Thank <laughs> you. 
than a million Marines have completed their training here in the past 100 years and have departed San Diego for combat in conflicts around the world, including places whose names are immediately associated with Marine courage and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Iwo Jima, Busan, Incheon, Chosen Reservoir, Quezon, Huey City, Lebanon, Granada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Fallujah, Ramadi, Marja, Sangen, and our most current operations worldwide. This parade deck is rich in history and tradition, and no Marine trained here ever forgets its sights and sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, as the national flag passes directly in front of you, please rise. Once it passes, you may be seated. Captain Michael Seibert and the regimental staff. Series 1049, Series Commander, Captain Sheila Donkey. <laughs> Platoon 1049, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Haley K. Langell.
Honor Platoon, 1050. Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Louis A. Rotola. Platoon, 1051. Senior Drill Instructor, Staff by the Regimental Color Sergeant, Drill Instructor Sergeant Daniel J. Schuess. Series 1053, Series Commander, Captain Vincent Everman, and Platoon 1053, Senior Drill Instructor Sergeant Edgar Mondarumi. Platoon 1055, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Austin A. Ramos. Ladies and gentlemen, if you turn to page 21 of your graduation pamphlets, you will find the Marine's Hymn. The Marine's Hymn has a history dating back to 1859 and has a long-standing tradition for Marines to face the direction of the music and stand at attention when it is heard. It is now directed that all Marines present who have served honorably, and ladies and gentlemen, you are all encouraged to join. Sing the words of the first verse as Marine Band San Diego performs Anchors Away, followed by the Marine's Hymn. Will the guests please rise? Records uniqueness and strength as an elite fighting force is directly a true of the drill instructors and company officers who train and supervise the recruits. The distinct qualities of spirit and discipline, the heart and soul of every Marine, have been developed, nurtured, and ingrained. Each year, recruit training provides thousands. Of America's finest young men and women with the basic knowledge and skills to function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the Corps.
for the Marines graduating today. The long, arduous journey of the last is but the future of the Marine Corps as it do so standards of the United States of America and the United Although Company C prepares for their final dismissal from boot camp, their initial training is not over. Soon after graduation, their report to the School of Infantry Camp in California, where they will continue to be the fundamental premise that every Marine is a rifleman. And gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Michael Seifert. The company first. And a round of applause for the company staff of Company C. function of retiring the guidons. The guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. Similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidons which identify by the unit and a resource of is bestowed upon those Marines who displayed outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and character, and were selected as the platoon honor graduates. The platoon honor graduates come for the titles of series and company honor graduate. They are considered the top Marines graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps. Center! Peace! Forward!
and the Battalion Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Rashad M. Browning. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. Reset. Art. Order. Art. The honor graduate for platoon 1049 is Private First Class Gabrielle Reese M. Angelis from Burbank, California. The honor graduate for platoon 1050 and the company honor graduate is Lance Corporal Nicholas Johnson from Tefan, Iowa. Lance Corporal Johnson is also the recipient of the Chester Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. The honor graduate for platoon 1051 is... Redburn from South Saltillo, Texas. The honor graduate for from East Lawns Athletes, California. The honor graduate for platoon 1054 is Private First Last Jakari Alexander from Plano, Texas. And the honor graduate for platoon 1055 is Private First Last Kevin Fang from Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company C. Company first, Sergeant. We'll now give the command. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony.